Yeah, yeah. talking about Dana and I only uh, heard about it a little bit today. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll fill you brand. in on the ones that, yeah. that that pertain to you. Yeah, but I like the special announcement thing because it builds up like you know. How does he do it? How does he do it? I mean, I was in bed. I saw his post, and he's like, "I'm going like special announcement in 30 minutes." Oh, okay, I was, like I was that's on the yeah, live, yeah. but it's a lot better than just doing like a little post. All right, the big ones. We'll start with Alex versus Jan. Do you think it's? I don't know. He was supposed to be on six month suspension after getting brutally KO'd like that, but it's going to be four, Shut down. three and a half months ish of him coming back. You fought Jan yeah. before. How do you think? That fight plays out. Uh, I think Jan's gonna take him down and just beat him up there. Oh, I think it's, Jan will stand with him for a bit, but eventually just get him to the fence or try and take him down the way he took me down. Um, I don't think he's gonna shoot, so he's gonna either get him to the fence. How good? Because one thing that we saw in the Jan fight is yeah. when the build-up and how people were theory, theory crafting it. In the fights Jan had before yours, he was always coming in, crashing in, you know, rushing in, and the Ooh. plan was to to, you know, catch him coming in. Yeah. But in the fight, he put the striking defense yeah, on, on full yeah. highlight. I don't know, he had this, <laughs> just like, he had nah, this every, everything, everything covered. Every question mark, yeah, it was every, ready. Yeah, yeah, everything yeah, covered, yeah, yeah. like. True, I forgot about that, actually. It's weird, like you, because I was like, that's right, as you're saying that, I'm, oh, that's right, that was How frustrating plan. was that to face? It wasn't frustrating at the time, because I was still catching him sometimes, but also it was just like, yeah, uh, it's respect. Yeah, it was also, also something that no yeah. one expected because yeah. everyone just thought that, you know. I thought he was going to come and like fight the way he normally fights. But then um, he did that at the right times and took me down. So, uh, yeah, he could get caught coming in. He could if he, depends. If he, What if he gets him down? He can keep him down. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. I don't know. Fuck, I'm not doing a fucking prediction for this fight. But right now it's, it's funny. I think it's a, it's a nice matchup to make. To the BMF belt. I didn't realize the BFMF belt was still, like still in play, but I guess if it is, that's cool. And it's uh, it's even like a title that I guess it could be here to stay. Well, would you want to fight for it? Maybe. Uh, like if you're, I don't know. What, what do you quantify as a BMF? Is I'm like a fucking nerd or whatever. Who the, I don't mind. Like an anime belt. Yeah, anime <laughs> belt. Ooh, that's all one. Fuck. Imagine that. <laughs> The things I can put on that, that'd be fun. No, but I'm trying to think, like, what quantifies a BF? Is it like a, a look? Is it a persona? Is it a style? Is it just, oh, violence? You just bleed all the time every time you fight? Is it, what is it? Like, I don't know. I'm trying to think now, but I'm like, what? I think it's a mix of the violence and the fights and then attitude as well outside yeah. of the cage. But I feel like when it comes to, like, you know, attitude and whatnot. Ice like, Street, yeah, Gang. Gagey and Poirier like savages inside, but outside the cage, yeah. they're like, you know, nice guys and yeah. whatnot. They're not like, you know, running around, around throwing water bottles and shit. Yeah. But, <laughs> but yeah, I think it's a, it's a mix of that. But I mean, that's a fight that, that 291 card yeah. it looks to be super, super stacked. 